Hello everyone, my name is David. Thank you for watching my video today. I'm a life coach that helps people recover and heal from traumatic uh, incidences and relationships, things like this. This video today, as you can tell by the title, is about why do we feel like we're not enough when we are in the lives of narcissists? And the simple answer is because you're not. Because people cannot be we must learn to take care of ourselves, not each other. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to dive into this. And this was a question off my Q&A videos. I make question and answer videos every week. They come out every Monday. I wanted to say this question and make a whole video to really dive into it. Um, I thought it was worth it. So let me read the question first. It's from Hurt. In Colorado I have been subbed to your channel for some time now and I have a question thank you my ex recently got married to the gal he cheated on me with I know this sounds dumb but gonna ask it anyway why was I not good enough I did everything I could to make the my relationship work with him and it was never enough I am recovering and moving on but finding out he has done everything with her that I had asked him to do hurts. It almost feels like he married her just to get even with me. I'm tired of feeling like I'm not good enough. Good. I'm glad that you're tired and I'm glad this relationship is over. Let me, let me, make, let me tell you a great codependent statement that a relationship takes 50-50. <laughs> a half a human and a half a human. Because a relationship really is about being one person. <laughs> 50, 50 and 50 makes 100, right? No, a relationship is about 100 and 100. We, we are 100% humans and we're going into this relationship and giving it 100% too. It's not easy, relationships aren't easy. Thanks for your question, Hurt. I'm sorry you're hurting. You're on the right track. You'll be okay. So, here's the deal. To try to explain this as easily as I can. What are narcissists doing most of the time, right? What are they doing? Why, why does it seem like what they're doing is so weird and we can't figure it out? Why are they dating this person? Why are they playing this game? Why are they... Why do they do these things I can't figure out? What are they trying to do? Well, most likely, like most people, we're trying to meet emotional needs. How do I know that? Because they're the most important things to us, to all human beings. How do I know this? And I'm sorry if I, I'm repeating myself. I know I am. For some of you who watch my videos a lot, you've heard me say this. I'm just going to repeat myself because I want people who are watching this video never heard me say anything. I want them to hear this. We know as human beings, right, doctors, Psychologists have studied children and human beings enough to know that we value emotional needs even more than physical needs. What am I talking about? Physical needs, uh, you know, uh, food, water, shelter, which is our clothes and, and home and oxygen, right? Sleep. Okay, obviously we need those to survive, but it's almost like entitlement. We don't care. They're coming. Right when we're born, we want emotional needs and we, we need them met. And whoever meets those needs, Whoever, whatever caretakers, that's who children attach to. Not to who provides physical needs, only emotional needs. That's how important emotional needs are. They're the most important things to us, okay? Number one most important emotional need to most people is security. In our relationships, we need to have emotional security. What is that? That's like knowing that people in my life closest to me have my back. They'll be there for me through thick and thin, no matter what. And they tell me, they reassure me, and they show that to me. I need to know that. That's security. Number one. So if that's so important, narcissists, it's important to narcissists too, whether they know it or not. So a lot of times what they're doing is to get that emotional security, right? But this is about external and internal. I've talked about that a lot. What do I mean is I can meet my needs internally, meaning myself, 
or I can try to meet my needs externally, outside things. And that could be drugs, it could be clothes shopping, it could be other people. And if that's how we meet our needs, we don't do it ourselves, we become dependent on other people. That's codependency. Internal is how we're supposed to do it. Internal is enough. External is the wrong way. External is never enough. So, some people try to meet the most important need in their life, emotional security. They may do it and that's, that's internally. So like, let's say the healthy way to meet your, your, your need, your emotional need of emotional security would be to ask for reassurance. Just for an example, I ask my wife, wife, tell me you love me. Reassure me. Tell me I'm the most important person in your life and you'll never leave me. Stay home tonight. Don't go out with your friends tonight. Can you just do that this one time? I know that's a lot to ask, but I just really need you. I need to feel secure. That's a healthy way because I'm doing that internally and I'm asking, right? That's enough. Externally, or how a narcissist might do it, right? Would be maybe triangulate. Instead of me asking my wife for reassurance and stay home tonight, I might say, oh wife, you're going out tonight with Cheryl and Lisa and Amber. Oh, okay, okay. And I know I don't want her to, and I want her to stay home, but I'm not going to ask, right? I'm going to do it externally, and I'm going to triangulate and say, oh, just let you know, I forgot to tell you, um, my coworker asked me to meet her for a cocktail tonight, wanted to talk about work real quick, so I'm going to go out with her. Should I? What do you think? If you're going to go out with your friends, I'm going to go out with, with her, have a drink with her. It's just work. You know, and, and watch your reaction and watch you freak out. And that freaking out might, I might think it offers some security. Oh, she, she won't leave me. She loves me. That's external. You're depending on someone else to do that for you. It's not enough. It can't be enough. Let me do more. Emotional attention. That's a very important emotional need for most of us, if not all of us. We need emotional attention from people in our lives that we love, right? If I don't hear from the people I love long enough, where are you? I need, you know, <laughs> call me. Why don't you call me? Why don't you answer your phone? We need attention. An unhealthy way, an external way, would be go on my social media and change my photos and show my boobs. If I was a girl, right? Show my boobs. You have a bunch of guys go down there and go, wow, you're, you're sexy, you're hot. It's not enough. I got to do it again. Later that day, tomorrow, new photo. Because we're all going to say, okay, that's hot, that's sexy, and then that's it. Then, and then it kind of, you know, everyone already said it, so everyone's seen it. Now what? Uh, uh, change it again. Put another one on there. Show nipple this time. <laughs> never enough. Never enough. Okay. If I ask my, maybe I can ask my significant other to go out on a date tonight, ask her for some of her time and get some of her attention. That's a healthy way, isn't it? Emotional connection, mandatory for relationships. A very important emotional need for most of us. Not all, should be, but not all. An emotional need. It's very important. We need it for relationships. A healthy way to have an emotional connection with my wife, say I was married, and I would talk about my all my emotions and all my feelings and my desires and my fears and always apologize when I'm wrong and always ask her how she's feeling and ask her for opinions and really emotionally connect with her. That's inside, that's internal, I'm doing it doing it with her, but it's, it's me doing it, internal, and being vulnerable, and opening myself up. That's healthy, that's enough. That's meeting my emotional need internally myself. Externally, unhealthy way, 
that a narcissist might do it is they might think they're getting emotional connection through physical connection. Sex. Lots and lots of sex. Sex all the time. Or maybe they'll start a fight with you and raise your emotions with them. Both of you go, oh, oh, oh. Or maybe they give you the silent treatment and watch you freak out. And, and, and that they don't realize that they might be trying to emotionally connect with you. They don't know how. They never did growing up. They weren't taught how. Unhealthy, external, not enough. Privacy, big, big time, emotional need. Lots of you never had privacy growing up as a child, did you? Parents going through all your stuff, looking through everything. Can't, that's so wrong. That's one of the, one of just the worst things you could do to a child. Not the worst, but one of. Privacy is a, an emotional need and we must meet it ourselves. And the healthy way to do it internally would be have a diary in a relationship. In my marriage, I have a diary that my wife will never read and I know she'll never read. She, I, I don't have to lock it. I leave it on my bed and she picks it up and puts it in my nightstand and makes the bed and didn't ever look at it. And I know that and I feel it and I have privacy. And I make sure I did because I'm the one that has a diary and I told her, please never read it. Or maybe she, I asked her, don't look in my phone, please. Don't, you know, she doesn't need the password to my email. We don't need to share all our money. I have my own money. That's what I guess autonomy. Un, and that's enough. That's good. That's healthy. It's enough. I'm doing it myself internally. Unhealthy. I have an affair. It's my affair. With my relationship with this person. It's mine. They don't know about it. And they think they have this privacy. They don't realize that we need privacy, but not like that. And that's external. You're using a person. You're being dependent on a person. Dependency. It's external. It won't be enough. You're going to have to keep doing it. You need privacy in your relationship. But like I said, healthy way. Cheating. Talking about your relationship to other people. No privacy. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. So let me say it again. Let me end it this way. People aren't enough when it comes to our emotional needs. We need and we must take care of ourselves and not each other. I understand it's nice to do good things for people. You know? And that's great. I'm not, I, I encourage that 100%, but we've got to take care of ourselves. We've got to take care of ourselves. We've got to know how. Got to do it. For most of us who find ourselves in these relationships where we're doing this for other people all the time, we've probably most likely been parentified as children. We've been uh, severely neglected, didn't have our needs met, and we learned how to meet other people's needs is what our parents trained us to do. Just want to throw that out there. Thank you for watching and listening. I appreciate you guys. Um, love yourself first. And leave any comments down there. Any questions you have about this, please ask me. I'll, I'll answer them. Thank you. Bye, guys.